so let's get into this here a little bit. Um, so, um, and again, I want to I want to say this right up front here. You know, um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cover this story not to take sides. Okay, I want to make that clear. Um, and not to lay blame on anybody, because you know I I know both Dana and Kim. Um, and um, but uh, uh, I think you know it's it's it, this is something that uh, is interesting to talk about in the general sense as far as you know when people have disagreements online and who hasn't had a disagreement online there can you know what i mean <laughs> i know uh so so what i'll put in the chat room here um is um a, a couple of blog posts here and i know there's a little bit of a delay as far as when i say something and when people hear it in the chat room so i'll i'll hold off putting it in the chat room here for a little bit so, um, so for people who don't know Dana and, and Kimmy, you know, they, they know each other from Twitter. Uh, I think they've, they've talked in, you know, in person and on Twitter and things. Uh, so what was unbeknownst to me, because I'm just clueless, <laughs> is that uh, over the past few months, uh, they have kind of had a, 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 a conflict a disagreement. I wouldn't even say a disagreement. I mean, they were they were fighting basically <laughs> on Twitter. Yeah, I don't think they like each other very much. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. And uh, it it it, uh, it can't kind of came to a head uh, earlier this week, where um, a blog post was written by by Dana, and I, I will uh, I'll pop that in the chat room here, and uh, it was just basically um, just heard kind of a. Uh, in a general sense, saying that she is kind of sick of things and uh, um, didn't want to put up with things anymore, and uh, I don't want—I'm not going to go into it in detail because that's that's not the point of why I'm bringing this up. Um, but I do want to talk about, you know, as far as you know, the back and forth, as far as you know, what was the response to this and that type of thing. So what I'll put in the chat room here too is is you know Kimmy's blog, and uh, it's basically the top post over there, and, and you can kind of see what what uh, her response is um, to that uh, to that situation there what was interesting to me kind of reading both of those things is that um, uh, sometimes people just don't play nice <laughs> um, and I'm not singling anybody out you know and I'm not it's not just this situation it's like and I think this goes into more of your general points there cat as far as social media sometimes, you know, people feel the license, have the license to say whatever they want, um, use whatever kind of language that they want uh, to, you know, either make fun of people or take personal shots at people. Um, and it's, uh, it can get ugly sometimes, don't you think, Kat? I think so, yes. <laughs> Big time. Um you know, and, and that's true what you just said, that, you know, because it's the Internet, people feel like, you know, they can kind of, like, do or say whatever they want. Well, I'm not anonymous on the Internet or on the computer, not totally anyway. I mean, yeah, people don't know my last name or anything, but I I feel like I still need to act like I would in public, you know. Um, I don't think that, you know, being – outrageous in certain ways you know I, I, I don't I, I still wouldn't do that like I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say something on the internet that I wouldn't say in real life I don't think in public at least I try not to like, right. for instance my Twitter you know I, I usually try to think before I tweet <laughs> and I think you know well how will people take it because especially on the internet if anything I probably I'm probably more careful on the internet because when you say something, it unless you put a smiley face or you know people don't always know how to take it. Uh, and, and I welcome people in the chat room kind of uh, um, kind of chiming in on this because it's I mean this is this is a topic that is not really talked about a lot out there because I don't think people want to talk about it as far as you know when it, when a situation like this happens uh, you know when. Uh, when two people, uh, you know, kind of have a public fight and when people know both of the parties and it makes things really awkward for everybody uh, as far as, you know, people are perceived as taking sides or, 
Um, you know, if you say that, you know, you're supporting one person, it, it means that you're totally against the other person. And it's just, it's just a lot of drama that happens uh, when these kind of public internet fights um, happen. I mean, it, 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 do you see that? I mean, it, it, does that make sense there, Kat? Well, yeah, and um, what happened with, with, well, not so much in Kimmy's blog post, but with Dana's blog post, she got all kinds of comments, you know, and uh, it started its own drama from the comments. Just the comments started their own drama. Is I find that the Internet is a lot like real life. It's just online. Right. I mean, as far as the way people act and how they respond to each other, you know, you know, what, like, for instance, if you unfriend someone on Facebook, that's like saying, I don't want to be your friend anymore, right? That, that might hurt someone's feelings or something. I mean, people's feelings can actually get hurt. Uh, fights start. Relationships are made, broken. The whole thing. I mean, it, it is like a whole different life. Right. I guess. You know what I'm saying? And um, so I, I find it very interesting. And I, a lot of times I like to see, especially on Twitter, you can see it on Twitter, because this, the whole fight with Dana and Kim, I wasn't even really aware of. I mean, I knew that they had been in a fight for a while now. But as far as the latest, you know, drama of what the blog posts were written about, I didn't even know all that happened. I had just happened to go on Twitter one day and, you know, seeing comments from both of them and sometimes to each other because I follow both of them. And I'm like, what happened? What did I miss? You know? And it wasn't until the blog post till everything made sense because I, I didn't even know really what happened. Right. So right. It's, it's just really wild. I think that it just got to a point where they both were just fed up and they were like, I, I don't care. I'm going to blog about it. I'm going to let the world know how pissed I am at this person. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be talking about um, you know the social media um, here in Seattle coming up uh, you know on Monday and you know I, I think one of the things that that is really seen is that um, you know the, the 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 internet social media does not create this conflict. I mean the conflict was already there, um, you know, or if there is poor communication, it was there is poor communication there already. Um, it's just the internet and social media just explode it. And, you know, that's what brings it to light. You know, if it, if it was, you know, something that was a problem beforehand, I mean, it was a problem beforehand. It was nothing that Facebook or Twitter created. It was already there. And, and, uh, when they blog about it or tweet about it, it just makes it more visible and can make the situation worse. I don't ever want to get in a situation where I'm fighting with someone over the internet because it's just not worth my time. You know, I don't like to fight anyway, but if you're face to face with someone, you can have a disagreement or, or whatever and, and either resolve it or not resolve it. But over the internet, it just seems like you can never really know who wins. Does anybody ever win? You know? Right. Right. So, you know, whatever you want to call them, trolls, haters, whatever, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's what kind of what people focus on, um, you know, just like you said, it, it, it takes, a, you know, it, it, it takes a blog post to defend yourself, but it can only take a few characters, less than 140 characters for people to say something negative about you. And, uh, and it, that, that can be very difficult to deal with. I remember for, for me, myself, um, you know, when I started, when the blog started getting popular, uh, that is when I started getting a lot of hate mail. And <laughs> so, um, I don't know if that's a rite of passage. I don't know if that's just something that happens when you get more popular, you get more people that hate you. I have no idea. Um, but, um, I, I laugh it off now, but you know, I mean, you know, some of that stuff that I was reading was, uh, pretty hateful. I mean, it was pretty bad. Um, so, you know, when you, t you talked about bullying before, you know, I mean, that's, I think that is a huge topic now in the news. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure what's going to happen, you know, with all of that, you know, it's, you know, w w you know, as far as, you know, is the internet the, to blame for that? Was there a lot of stuff happening before that incident happened, you know, to, to lead to, you know, somebody, 
you know, committing suicide. I mean, it's these are questions that that are that still have yet to be answered, um, and uh, I don't know how it, how it's going to end up.